Hey everyone, and today I've got the 2018 Hyundai Accent. Now, is it Hyundai or Hyundai? Well, I guess it depends on your accent, right? You see what I did there? Anyway, it's now got this bold accentuated grill. You see what I did there? Never mind. Plus these massive headlights and the rest of it is okay as well. Now, uh, since I'm reviewing a Hyundai Accent today, I feel compelled to do the whole review with some accent. Now, the accents are probably going to be awful and will probably offend people, but I cannot help it. I have to continue in this manner. Motoring Middle East accepts no responsibility for any unintended or indeed intended offense, insult, emotional trauma, and bodily injury caused by the contents of this video. And for the record, we have no idea what accents he was attempting to do either. Now, what I can tell you is that this car this particular car comes with a 1.6 petrol unit, uh, putting out the 120 brake horsepower. Uh, they drives it to the front wheels to a six-speed automatic, and it gives it a 0 to 100 kilometer per hour time over leisurely 11.3 seconds and a top speed of 192 kilometer per hour. There is also a 1.3 available, but the price and the price for that one is uh, 50,820 uh, dirham. Uh, but since my baguette can run faster than that car, I, we will not discuss it anymore. However, these 1.6 models actually start with a 13 GL that is priced at 52,290 dirham. And it comes as standard with uh, features such as the front airbag, ABS, uh, stability control, ISO fix, uh, tire pressure monitor, a uh, parking sensor, there's a uh, four speaker stereo with Bluetooth and remote control for the steering wheel. It has a hot adjustable driver's seat and a cigar lighter with ashtray. Yeah, it specifically says cigar lighter. Now, I must remember, or I must remind you to remember that smoking is bad for you unless you are sitting in a cafe in Paris and you're looking incredibly chic doing it, in which case it is okay. Now, uh, the range topping car, which is of course this car over here, is uh, 59,850 dirham. Now, you can tell it by the chrome grille instead of the black one and the alloy wheels at the back. Now, we shall look at the practicality and for that I shall uh, go to the back of the car. You come with me. Hey man, what going on with you today? That's be the batty boot right here and you can put a load of stash back here. Hey man, I don't mean nothing like that, I'm no bad boy. I'm just saying that when you get to where you go in, as we all must eventually do, innit? Then coolie man gonna find he could have put a lot of things back here. Especially if he lift up the floor and he find that there's a lot more room around the tire. Anyway, you all stay cool and be jamming. And don't worry about a thing. Because everything going to be all right, right? Huh, baby? Let us see how much space there is back here. Eh? Also, this seat, you know, is set for my driving position. And I am reasonably comfortable back here. In fact, you know, I think I can probably fit uh, three, four, five, probably eight family members back here. No problem. You know, I just put them on top of each other. Not an issue. But, you know, I got to tell you that because this is the top of the range one, we have this armrest with two cup holders. You know, I can have two Coca-Cola in here. No problem. And I can sit here like a boss like this, you know, and the back orders at the driver and say, oh, bloody hell. Who gave this rascal a driving license, huh? I can do it better than this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to sit back here because, oh, what? Check it out. Over here, you have a USB and the USB is glowing blue. Wow, what a thing. Anyway, I think, uh, Chalo, time to get in the front. Hello, mate. How's it hanging? So what else has this top of the range Hyundai Accent got? Well, let me tell you, sunshine. One of the things it's got right here is a reversing camera. Look, check it out. Look at that. And that's on this nifty little screen, which is also a touch screen and actually tells you what you're listening to. In fact, you've got half a dozen speakers in this car to bang out all your favorite ding-dongs. Good, right? I'll tell you what else it's got. It's got cruise control on the steering wheel and there's remotes for the steering, for the stereo, of course. And then you've got, blimey, it's got trip computer stuff and all that. Down here, you've got loads of power. So you've got an aux, you've got a USB, you've got power supply over there, and you've got a lighter as well. Down here, you've got two cup holders, a cubby box in here, and uh, the steering, right? It's rake adjustable. So, and also reach adjustable, like the driver's seat, right? Which is also height adjustable for all you short asses out there. One other thing it's got, right, is an electronic 
chromic mirror, whatever that is when it's home. Anyway, uh, no paddles for the steering, but you can put the transmission into sequential mode. I'll tell you what, let's take it for a little run, right? Right then, let's give it a little bit of a run, shall we? Traditional handbrake there, and oh man, would you add them and leave it? It really moves. Not bad, not bad, it does move, doesn't it? Look, it makes a qu quite a bit of noise, I'll tell you that much. Right, we're coming up to like a corner. Right, let's turn it, oh, whoa! Okay, it's holding on, it's holding on. Wow, there's no feeling whatsoever through the steering wheel, but the steering wheel turns. And that's what it's meant to do, right? A steering wheel is meant to turn a car, and this one, I can reliably inform you, does turn the car. The wheels, on the other hand, they want to go off into the distance, which is to say that they want to understeer, which is not really surprising in a little front wheel drive car like this. But now we're on the straight bit and we're picking up a bit of momentum. So we're doing about, you know, motorway speeds. And as you can see, it's very stable and very smooth. The ride also is very, very good. It's not really an issue at all, considering. In fact, I would say it's actually quite comfortable. I've been driving this thing around and actually it's proved pretty comfortable. Now we're coming up to a bit of a roundabout again. We're on the brakes, or I could do with a little bit more bite, but they certainly do their job. You know, the steering does respond and it does turn in. You get a bit of understeer, but actually it's not too bad. It's not too bad. You can actually really get it to grip into that corner. And then as long as you apply the power sensibly, you can, you know, cut down on that understeer and get it to accelerate out of that corner. So it's not too bad at all. Like I said, that engine gets a bit gruff at the top end, but what do you expect? It's working this bollocks off, isn't it? Right, so really tight right-hander coming up. Let's see what it's like around here. And then a little bit of a high-speed sweep, sweep, sweeper, right? So again, you've got a bit of tire squeal. I'll tell you what, though, it pivots nicely. Oh, uh, yeah, it pivots nicely and it turns in all right. You know, that's actually a little bit better than I thought it would be, right? So this one's a little bit of speed, and again, you know, a little bit of body lean. The body's leaning right over, as you'd expect, but otherwise it's fine. So, what do you reckon then? A pretty fun little car, right? Nah, but you know what? It's a decent little mower, and it'll get you to where you need to go in comfort and with ease, right? And that's really what you want from a car like this. This is what, let's be honest, right? That's what we're talking about. So overall then, that's our review of the uh, Hyundai Accent uh, in a multiple number of accents, not all of which were easily identifiable as to what they are. And even if you put me, you know, on a torture rack, I couldn't really tell you what those accents were meant to be. But there were accents of some kind. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. Let us know what you thought about it in the comments below or elsewhere. And don't forget to follow us on MotoringME.com and all the social media. That is Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Whilst you're doing all that, you know what? Check me out on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs>